celebrating the red, white, and blue this morning on the grill. So instead of the same old hamburgers and hot dogs, how about wowing your family and friends with a colorful cookout? Jeff Hill is outside on the Fox 5 weather deck with a special guest I'm to killing, show you how. I'm killing what are you bees. Doing? I'm killing bees, oh, Karen. No. They're all over the place. <laughs> Attack of the and I actually bees got one, too. <laughs> Hey, joining me right now is Chef uh, Kyle Reynolds from uh, Le Cordon Bleu. Thanks for being uh, with us this great. morning. And thank you. Uh, we're going to be doing some burgers with kind of a, uh, a theme to them with, with the stars and stripes. Tell me all about that one. Right. We're trying to keep with the uh, 4th of July Independence Absolutely. Day celebration. And we started with a uh, stars and stripe burger, which is made with a star-shaped. Uh, now, now, where do you get star-shaped buns? <laughs> well, you can hire me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or I'll tell you all about how to make them. But it, it's simply, you know, it's a... Uh, a, a roll that I made into a star shape. Oh, okay. Uh, and we're going to do stars and stripes. Cool. So it's going to be layers of tomato and mozzarella. Awesome. And uh, we got, some, of course, some wonderfully seasoned, fresh, local grass-fed uh, beef. And uh, also we're going to do, uh, later on, the potato salad. The so, potato salad. Okay. All right. All right so, so now how do you do your burger? Okay. So first off, I like to get some high-quality meat. Okay. And uh, it's best, I mean, if you grind it yourself. Okay. I mean, the, the fresher, the better. Not everybody's going to do that. So if they <laughs> run down to Publix or Kroger, they can just get whatever, right? Was it 80, 20 yeah. better? Or? Yeah, a, a little more fat is better. A I mean, if you're fat, trying to go okay. more healthy, okay, obviously, then yeah, uh, get something leaner. But yeah, a little more fat is better. I like 80, 20 is certainly okay. a good. Okay. And then uh, season it, right? Put a little salt and pepper what on it. What was this stuff you put on? Uh, that's salt. I just got some fancy salt. Oh, it's a fleur right. de sel. Okay. You know, of course, you know, we got the French stuff going you on here chef guys today. with your yes, fleur you de know. sel. Yes, you cordon bleu. <laughs> right. Okay, so uh, I'm just uh, mixing the seasoning in. I put some salt and pepper but of course you know if you want to get a little bit fancier you know you can put uh, grilled onions you can put soy sauce you can okay. put garlic whatever your choice is if you how like much, a little heat how much meat do you put in your um, I'm doing a third of a, a pound a third of a pound third okay. of a pound right and uh, mix it all together well so you get the season evenly evenly distributed and then I just shape it into a bowl knock a little bit of the air out right? and then Nice technique. I like that. Yeah, it helps. <laughs> it helps to keep the shape together and give you an even consistency. It really does all the way to get through. the air out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And um, just flattening out the patty. Um, I'm going to shape it so that it fits well inside of the bun. Okay. Which is, I think okay. is certainly an important one. All right, and then let's move over to the grill. How hot do you have the grill? I've got the grill at about 450 about, degrees. Okay. Right. And, and how long then would you cook it? It'll take about uh, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how you want your burger done. 10 to 15 for what? Like medium rare? Uh, 10 minutes for a rare, uh, and maybe 15 minutes for medium. You're, you're yeah. sweating. Yeah, I'm you, sweating. You, you the grill's getting hot out here. It's <laughs> getting hot out here. <laughs> okay, so when we're done with that, then we, we just, you made one over here. You, yes, you, I have one already assembled. Um, uh, simply put the, the bun. Uh, and then the meat on the bottom. And of course, you know, you can put your choice of condiments. Um, I like uh, mayonnaise and mustard. Certainly you can go with ketchup, you know, any combination you you'd like of all of them. you had mozzarella and fresh tomatoes. Yes, I have mozzarella and I've got some wonderful, uh, it was quite uh, good timing. I pulled some tomatoes out fresh of out of my garden. And so, what kind of lettuce are you using? Um, I'm using red leaf and green leaf lettuce. Awesome. And I like right. the contrast of the colors I, and the I textures. like the way that looks. I'm going to see how it tastes a little bit later on. All right, we're going to be doing potato salad uh, uh -huh. toward the end of the show. Yes. So everybody stay tuned. We'll have that for you coming up in just a few minutes.